This is a story of Daku and Taro, nine-year-old twins who have just enrolled into a new school in Wollongong. Daku and Toro have just moved from the very remote Kirakura community in the Gibson Desert, just north of Western Australia. Daku and Toro have attended the Kirakura Remote Community School since kindergarten. Normally, the boys do everything together from school to footy to riding their bikes. However, they've now been separated into two different year four classes. Daku is enrolled into Miss Disc's class and Taro is enrolled into Miss Turner's class. Before the boys first day, both Miss Disc and Miss Turner read the enrolment information. It lists Aboriginal background, came from small community school in very rural Western Australia. With a post-it note stuck at the top of the enrolment form that says, seemed very fidgety and distracted during interview. Great, said Miss Disc. Great, said Miss Turner. During the first week, Miss Disc had some issues with Daku's behaviour, which she voiced in the staff room on Friday lunch. I've had Aboriginal students before and he's just like the rest of them. He goes to the toilet all the time, he doesn't concentrate, he doesn't contribute to any discussions. When I talk to him, he won't even look at me. He constantly disrupts the class with his wriggling and roaming around. He's more interested in what's outside the window than what's happening in class. I'm sorry, I just can't agree, says Miss Turner, shaking her head. I've noticed that Taro needs to go get up and walk around more than the other students, so I just let him. He comes back to task eventually, when he's ready. Also, I don't know if you know, but it's disrespectful in their culture to hold eye contact. After the discussion with Miss Disc, Miss Turner went home on the weekend and did a little research on where the twins had come from. First, she researched their community. Kirikura is described as the most remote community in Australia. The elders of their community had their first non-Indigenous contact in the 1950s when they were ordered to travel and stay 700 kilometres away from their homeland. Hmm, maybe there could be some intergenerational trauma from this event, thought Miss Turner. Then she researched the school that the twins had come from. She found out that Kirikura Community School has just 24 students in the entire school with just eight of those students in the upper primary classroom that the twins had come from. Maybe this is why they don't contribute in group settings. They might be overwhelmed in such a big group, thought Miss Turner. She delved deeper into the curriculum at their previous school through their website. Students and staff get to experience community, cultural and bush learning days, as well as classroom-based activities. Maybe this is why Taro needs to go to the toilet all the time just needs to move his body around and be outside more. The more Miss Turner researched, the more the behaviours the more the behaviors made sense. This is where they're coming from. As a graduate teacher, Miss Turner had heard about virtual school bags through her studies, but now she was beginning to see how she could unpack one to see what was inside. Inside of Tara's virtual school bag were all the experiences and skills he'd already had in his life before moving to this school. All of the things that were vital in helping Tara to settle and feel comfortable in his environment. In his backpack, he held connection to country, experience in small groups, hands-on learning, experience of very remote living, intergenerational trauma, large family dynamic, and he enjoys football and his bike. While researching, Miss Turner came across various government websites which guided her in differentiating her teaching to meet Tara's needs. On the ACARA website, Ms Turner read how to holistically and gently implement the cross-curriculum priority of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and culture throughout all learning areas. In group work, Ms Turner used small roaming groups, providing Taro with space to move around. Ms Turner began every Monday morning outside with the students sat in a circle where they shared their stories of their weekend. This was an unofficial yarning circle. For the kinesthetic learners and learners with a connection to country, Miss Turner brought their learning outside, finding and labelling 3D objects in the natural environment for the exploration of shapes. In geography, Miss Turner used the SBS documentary on the very remote town of Kirakora as a stimulus for their presentation task. An acknowledgement of country was collectively written by all students with the help of Taro. This was proudly read at assembly. Miss Turner knew that using turnaround pedagogy, such as a virtual school bag, wouldn't show immediate miraculous results, but when embedded long term, the outcomes would be better for Taro than if she had ignored the unique qualities that he brought 
in his virtual school bag. Unfortunately for Daku, Miss Dis did not consider his virtual school bag. In fact, she projected her own dominant discourse onto Daku, who remained withdrawn and disruptive in class.